Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. This is Soup, as always. And last time, we took care of the Precursor Basin, my least favorite area in the entire game. So, in this episode, we really have two options. Uh, we could go to the... We can go to the underwater precursor temple, like we're advised to, or we can go this way. I think we have enough power cells to open up to use the levitation device. That is why you don't swim out too far. That is a lurker shark. They will eat you alive. But... Today, we're not going there, because we're going somewhere a little more swampy. The Boggy Swamp. This is... I have an interesting... Uh, I have a, what, what I'd call a love-hate with this place, because I love this place. But it does not love me back. Because we get introduced to a new type of eco here. Yellow eco. It does not change any of our physical stats. But what it does do... You can shoot fireballs when you're powered up with yellow eco. Sure you can! Is we now have... While we're charged up with yellow eco, we essentially shoot out... Um... Hadoukens. It's pretty awesome. I'm a fan of Yellow Eco. You can just fire like this, and they will generally track. While charged with Yellow Eco, we lose our, um, our dive attack, but we gain the ability to throw eco we get to throw eco bombs out of our hands in midair. This should be pretty easy to figure out how you're supposed to get those uh, precursor orbs because that stuff is black swamp. You can't touch it. go here. To a bit of a side area. To get a scout fly. And we come back here and we get our blue eco back up. Right, right. You have to use yellow eco, your base attack, your your physical attacks will not, you just can't hurt, hurt them hard enough. I don't think, I don't think I've ever tried a dive attack. I've always just destroyed them with yellow eco and called it a day. I should have gotten hit there. I should have gotten hit there. Alright. Like I thought, you need yellow eco. Destroy that rat nest, you actually unlock, uncover a blue eco vent and a pad right here.
Whenever I get Yellow Eco, I essentially just like spam it because it's fun. I think there was a Scout Fly in there. I'm a fan of the bog of the boggy swamp because it's kind of a. Uh, there's multiple paths, and you're not locked to just taking. Right. I forgot. Blue Eco can't destroy those, but it can attract. The precursor orbs. And this becomes a side scrolling segment. A la Crash Bandicoot, actually. Which is not surprising seeing as Naughty Dog, the developer of uh, Jack and Daxter, also developed Crash Bandicoot. Oh, good. Full heal. Well. Not a full heal, but a big heal. I like the uh, trapeze. It should respawn here. Ooh. We should shoot those big boulders holding the tether. Now something I haven't mentioned. Is while charged with yellow eco. You can go into first person, and you essentially have a target. Did you see that? Only three more tethers to go. You essentially have a targeting reticle, and it becomes a first person eco shooter, and I'm okay with this. All right. Yellow Eco is probably... That's not my favorite. I'm always, I've am i always been a fan of uh, Blue Eco myself, but... Get to the vent! Blow that up. Where did Daxter jump from? Like, seriously. Did he jump from the ground? If he did, he's got an amazing vert. He's got an amazing vert. I'm not gonna lie, I do sometimes get lost in the, uh, boggy swamp. Uh-oh. My strat for this? Spam! If you don't have Yellow Eco, 
find it, and while you're going, spin run. So, here we actually get a decent look at what they're trying to pull out using that giant lurker balloon, which is up there. Seems like some sort of thingy. I just like the way you move the way you move around. And Yellow Eco will essentially search and destroy. I love Yellow Eco is. I like it more than I like Red Eco. Okay, so. Because Red Eco makes you way too slow for my liking. But yellow eco, you get a lot of reach. Hey, there's the flat flat. I'll, go, I'll take care of that in just a second. Alright. Now these teleport pads can't only teleport our zoomer, but also the flut flut bird. Ooh. Okay. Now the flut flut bird, for some reason, can walk in the black goo. We can't, but it can. And by run, I mean it can, like, hop in it. But it can exist in it. Uh, I forgot about that. I thought you could just spam it like you could normally, but no. Here, these jumps are way too much for Jack or D for Jack or Daxter with his amazing vert to make. But the Flut Flut Bird can make them just fine. I actually really like the Flut Flut Bird because it's, like, really tight and you only get to use them here which is kind of sad but what are you gonna do I think you can make some of these jumps with Jack but most of them are not gonna happen like that one definitely And unfortunately, they will not become useful ever again, so say goodbye. Thank you for being useful. This is just like cruel and unusual, but I enjoy it. Seriously? Now this dock does nothing. 
This dock is here for no discernible reason. I can't figure out why it's here. It just happens to be here. Howdy, friends. Enjoying my beautiful swamp? I own these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Anyway, I got bigger problems now. Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on, and scaring away my pet hip hog, Parley. He's been missing for nigh on to a coon's age. I've been putting out his favorite snack, but those ornery swamp rats keep stealing them. If you could keep those pesky critters away long enough, I just know Father will smell them vitals and come back. Will you help me out? Yeah. Good. Those rats will be back any time. Shoot all them rats. Keep them from eating at least one of them snacks. This is just like... Unfortunately, the yellow eco loses its uh, homing abilities in this. Actually, I don't think I ever lost this. But for the most part, it will dodge around obstacles. Really, this is a, uh... This is more of a just a spam and prey and spray kind of situation. As far as I know, they don't necessarily follow any particular uh, AI. Damn it! I don't remember this game being, this little mini game being particularly difficult, but. more fun than difficult, but this is actually somewhat challenging because I have... Nope. Damn! They don't seem to follow any particular AI.
And that's the thing we say. I forget what he called it, but... Okay. Yeah, you can bust all of his barrels. Probably full of moonshine. Okay. That was embarrassing. What are we looking at? Okay. I don't remember if there's a precursor or, or if there's a power cell for killing all of them, but yeah, whatever. And we have the opportunity. That's the last scout fly. Perfect. I don't know how much of that mini game is going to get cut out because we're at 20 minutes. Oh, I'll, I'll keep going. I'll deal with that later. All right. But like I said, I really like the, the boggy swamp. Mostly because it introduces Yellow Eco, which like I said is uh, one of my personal favorites. And I hit one of the precursor orbs that came into, came into my body. Can I? These are nothing fancy. Your typical weight-sensitive platform. Well. These low ones will go into the into the into the dark into the dark swamp. So be careful of that. I don't remember if the tall ones will. I don't think I've ever tested that. So not really something I think is worth testing. If I'm going to be completely honest. actually puts us back at the beginning, which apparently I missed something, so uh, we're going to go searching. There we go. That's what I missed. And the lurker balloon flies away. And the precursor thingy goes back into the mud. Good work, Jack. Your uncle would be proud. That 
was a giant arm from a precursor robot. I've never seen one in such good condition. I can't imagine what the lurkers wanted with it, but we sure didn't want them to get it. If you keep this success up, nah, you'll still fall short of hero. But keep trying. It's endearing. That was cool. I, I didn't want to talk about it while the uh, cutscene was playing, or the dialogue, but if I shoot the precursor orb, it seems to absorb the I'm going super sad! Oh wait, no, it, it ended. Should be. Yep, that's everything. So now all we need to do is get the hell out of here. Spikes there for a second. Oh wow, even more yellow eco. They really lay it on thick here. And now we're back in Rock Village. Kira's up there, but we've got, we're not going to go see her we're at this moment. we got other things to do. <laughs> oh, one thing I've never uh, talked about, and it's, uh, Something that's kind of cool, but also really hard to do, is if you roll jump, and you time the jump right as you land, you'll actually, you can actually get a whole bunch of height. It basically will be a roll jump, and then it'll go straight to a, um... A high jump but anyway that's it for the boggy swamp it's probably gonna be a little bit of a long episode but we'll see what I've cut see what I haven't cut I want to thank you guys for watching and until next time when the only place left is the underwater precursor temple until next until then guys goodbye